Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2 video. Um, I was going to clean base. Base cleaning was time. Time for cleans. But it looks like Grammy joined us. And I haven't talked to her in a little bit. She's been doing some uh, some awesome videos. By the way, awesome job with the live stream and the Dark J. Loved it. Grammy, hi. Slash E wave. Hi. Mm, I wonder, did, did I wave? Slash E wave. Wave. E slash wave. <laughs> um, so, shall we? Here, I'm going to go ahead and whitelist her. I'm in my own private server, by the way. Oh, I can't whitelist. Why can't I? Whoa, that was crazy. Just stop by to say hey. <laughs> cool, cool. Uh, I have you whitelisted if you want to stay. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm recording right now. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, oh, okay. <laughs> Yay. Let's go. Um, so, yeah, let's just do, uh, do the rest of the cleanups and try and get our base secured. I think, uh, I think that's what I will do. I, I want to, whoa, uh-oh, I dropped it. Drink. There we go. I think... <laughs> Clean, clearing. Yep, yep. What we'll do is we'll we'll toss everything in the back of this truck here. Actually, here. Let me let me get this turned around here. There we go. That way, it's a little bit easier to hit. You know, don't have to worry about a bunch of things flying out. I guess with axes I can just pick those up, right? Yeah, that'd be fine. That's okay. <clears throat> Anyhow, a lot of you were upset with me because I did Minecraft instead. And people were like, where's lumber? Do more lumber. You don't do enough lumber. I'm like, five days out of the week <clears throat> for the entire 365 days of the year, you guys usually get lumber, and like the two or three days that I don't do lumber, y'all freak out and you're like, no, where's lumber? So, that 60% who are unsubscribed, no, 40% who are unsubscribed right now, if you're watching this and you don't have a little subscribe button, you find it and you hit it right now because if I'm going to be doing nothing but lumber and that's what you're watching, you need to be subscribed to, to get those beautiful notifications and turn on those bells. Okay. Now I, I normally say, you know what? It's your choice. It's, it's up to you. But if you're constantly watching the channel and you're still not subscribed, like what's, what are you doing on YouTube? Are you subscribed to anyone? Like seriously, find somebody, see, see what videos you love and go subscribe to them. Heck, um, uh, Jacksepticeye, Markiplier, all those guys, you're subscribed to them, right? Subscribe to me too, you know? That's that's the way to, the cookie crumbles, <clears throat> or something like that, I don't know. That's the way the rookie axe falls, or floats, because the rookie axe floats. <sighs> Wait, oops, it's messing up with me putting it in there, isn't it? No, you're good. <laughs> um, because technically I, okay, so I still have ownership. I still have ownership. If it was wood or if you had bought it from the store, then yes, it would. But it's still, still under my client. You're, it's good to go. Um, okay, so the thing that she's talking about is um, the ownership clause, or the ownership. The server will choose, will, will assign ownership 
of things. So, for example, like this piece of wood right here. This piece of wood belongs to me. Hold on. Rotate. Right? So, my client, the, the thing that I'm playing on, is drawing this piece of wood. That's why it's nice and smooth and it can move around. It Like, that's how it works on mine. Right? Now, if I were to... Um, oh, gosh. If I were to have her hit this one time with her axe like that, it would automatically become her ownership because she's whitelisted and she was the last person to hit it. So if she cuts it in two, technically that was one piece, that was one part that turned into two parts and split the model. So now these are two separate models, individual of themselves. So um, that's... That's some big programming things to understand. So I, I don't expect you guys to understand it completely, but just know that that's, that's how that works. Man, we got that corner. Oh, wait, I missed one. I missed a couple. That's a big old box there, isn't it? Hold on, let's grab that box. What is that, number four? Number four pink box. Oh gosh, it, it's too heavy. It's too heavy. Stay, stay, stay. Oh, dang it. Up, 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 up. You know what? We'll just leave it. Leave it. There we go. I should have grabbed some ramps. You know? That way I could just park it and, and drop everything in here. Oh, gosh. Hold on. Oh, no, 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 no. There we go. Whoop. No, yeah, there, that, that'll work, that'll work. Oof. By the way, I've noticed that the word oof is like being used in a lot of different contexts. Like a, a lot of different games, a lot of different generations have started using the word oof. I don't know if oof was like a word from before oof was made, but it seems to be a big, a big context thing. Like, everybody knows what oof means. Everybody do the oof. I should, I should make a song and call it oof. Oof evolution or something. I don't know. Be Slick, where you at, man? I want, I want Be Slick to make a, a song and call it oof evolution. Dude, like, we can... He can make the song about uh, words we used to use, like dude, radical, cowabunga, stuff like that. And then, like, bring it into modern age, and then how the evolution of words has turned into oof. I don't know. I'm just talking. Just thinking of things. But that's the that's the beauty of the cleaning episodes. Is it doesn't have to make sense, you know? And I don't have to do any particular um, order of things. I like that. Oh, by the way, um, as of right now, the count for the current election, uh, I guess they're waiting on in Nevada. Hold on. Let me go look at the polls. Ah, uh, there we go. Live polls is Biden is 264 and Trump is 214. And for those of you that don't know how the electoral colleges go, um, each state gets a specific amount of um, electoral votes. So there's specific people who... Uh, count the ballots and say, hey, yeah, they, they, this section voted for Biden or this section voted for Trump, blah, blah, blah. Each state gets its own amount. That's why they call them battlegrounds whenever they're a big state. Like California. California has um, 55 electoral votes and then Texas has 38. So, well, oh, oh, oops, I just hit a button. So while it might be fun to get all the states, all the small states, if... If you get the majority of all the small states, but none of the big battlegrounds, then you don't you don't win. I know it doesn't make sense, but it's based on census. So whenever you see those those U.S. Census Bureau thingies come out, and they're like, "Hey, you need to tell us how many household people you have," blah blah blah. It's very important that you fill those things out. A lot of people are like, that's a conspiracy theory. They just want your information. I'm like, dude, they already have your information. That's what your driver's license is there for, you know? And I'm pretty sure that if you don't fill out your census, I think it's illegal somehow. I don't I don't know that they can legally 
bound you to it, but um, I think I think there's some legalities there. Again, I'm not a lawyer, so don't listen to me. Okay, I could I could be completely wrong on like all fronts and have no clue what I'm talking about. <sighs> Where <did> you go? <laughs> 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 what was that code? I don't know. It was something. There we go. There we go. There we go now. Oh, I'm full. I can't. Dang it. You know what? I'll just put it in the back of the truck. <clears throat> oh wait, that was a that was a candy bag from last year, wasn't it? That's awesome. Last year's candy bag. You know what I'm ready for? I'm ready for another piece of artwork. I'm ready for so much more art. Posters. Posters of your favorite Robloxian Lumber Tycoon 2 uh, YouTubers. You know, they work just like posters, only they'd be flat. 90% of the way through and I forgot. Oh no, oh no, I've done that. It's like hide and seek with presents. I just got the complete recording and someone, with someone and realized that about 90 the way, percent of the way through, I forgot to hit the record button. It happens fam all the time. Like it is, it is much more common than you than anybody realizes to forget to hit the record button. Uh. Does the, uh, the inclined thing work still? Wait, is that a box or is that that wood? I think that's wood. Huh, we'll put that right there. Wire, I think, counts as something else. I was gonna record it alone, then I saw you, and I rarely jump in unless it's an emergency, but. <laughs> I've not been around much. Just kind of programming my own. Thing. Smiley face, and uh, I'm not. I'm not going to say anything yet. I've I've been programming my own games and stuff, and I'll I'll release some surprises later. But normally, what I do is I'm like really excited about certain projects, and I'll I'll release like, oh, I've got this idea. I'm going to do blah blah blah, and then I get like halfway through it, and I'm like, yeah, I'm kind of bored, so I don't want to do that this time. So I'm not going to say anything. You know, keep it to myself. Um, okay, yeah, we still got a couple of things here. Not too much. <laughs> Man, do we almost have it cleaned? Three episodes later, and we have a clean base. Almost, almost clean. Man, I'm gonna have to actually build stuff now, like roofs and things. Isn't blue wood on the opposite side? Hold up. Uh oh. Hmm. Well, that doesn't work. <laughs> okay. Okay, so let's go for. <laughs> oh, no! No! I was so close.
One more turn. One more turn. Come on. Come on. Yay! I fixed it. <laughs> uh, am I going to be able to make it through this? Hold on. Hold on. If I rotate here, it rotates that way. Okay. There we go. Hold on. I need to rotate it again like that. And then I can rotate it like this. Like this. <laughs> nice. That's awesome. I saved a pink car. Hmm. Skills. Oh wait, is this a pink utility and then this one's... No, nope, it's still just a, a pink regular car. Regular pink car. I got the regular pink car. A regular pink car. It never gets me very far. <clears throat> oh, I can't sing that. <laughs> for those Adam Sandler fans out there, <laughs> thanks for recognizing. <laughs> if you didn't know who I was talking about, never mind. Just just know that your parents liked liked that guy. He was pretty cool. Oh gosh. Um can can you get <sighs> Oh, I just breathed like right into the microphone. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Not really. Kind of. It happens. Whoa. Whoa. Looking great. I'm going to fix that recording. <laughs> you too. Have a great night. Good luck. There we go. Okay. So we've uh, we've made massive amounts of progress. It's past the 15 minute mark, and I, I still want to keep it around 15 minutes. I know that the other ones I've been doing 30 minutes, blah blah blah. I, I, don't, I really don't care. I like the fact that these are back down to 15 minutes, and it should give me enough time to do things without overbearing you with nothing but lumber. So tonight I'm gonna let it run to about 20, 20 minutes. Just a little bit of extra time for you guys. That's in times, that's lava. <clears throat> a jumpy jump, a jumpy jump, and a droppy drop. Mm. No Shave November is coming along nicely, by the way, if you were asking. A lot of people are going to comment, nobody asked. <laughs> uh, I... I'm happy. You know, with the way that the world works and with the way things that could have could have been, have been, will be. For the most part, there really isn't too much to worry about. I mean, if you're worried about the coronavirus, there's things that you can do. It's preventable, you know? Wear a mask, wash your hands, social distance, stay out of public places, stay home. If you're worried about politics, well, no matter who gets in office, whether it's Trump, whether it's Biden, whether it's any anybody else, they always have our true intentions. And I, I can't see anybody getting into office and starting to do harm who won't feel the wrath of the American people. You know, we bring it up all the time that we will fight any enemy, foreign or domestic. And what that means is, Whenever we talk about an enemy, 
an enemy to the United States. That's not just like other countries. That's also anybody who's trying to negate what we stand for, what our country stands for, you know? What was that? It was an axe. Huh, that was crazy. Um, anyhow, what was I saying? That's 20 minutes. I don't see us getting somebody in there and just laying down and taking it. We, we, we won't take it. We've, we've got too many people, too, too, too much population of resistance. I mean, even, even if you were to get a Democrat into office and you're to get a all Democrat government, right? The Republicans wouldn't stand for it. <laughs> you you couldn't pass laws that just straight violate human rights. It's impossible. Uh, now, with that being said, it's not entirely impossible, but in today's society, with today's social media, and with the amount of fast speed communication that we have, I doubt that there's going to be anybody who's in office who will intentionally cause harm to the United States or to our foreign diplomats and stuff like that. I just don't see it. So there truly isn't anything to worry about. I mean, if you're worried about school, why? It's just school, you know? If you're still having to go to class and you're worried about bullies and you're worried about getting your homework done and you're worried about all the things that come with being a kid and going to school and everything else. I used to do that too. I used to worry badly to the point that it would hurt my stomach and I couldn't go to school. And there's, there's really nothing to worry about. It will be okay. You're going to have a good day. You're going to have a bad day. And it's one thing for me to say, yes, be happy, be everything. But I want you to realize that happiness is not a constant state of being. It is an emotional state that you get to at a particular point in time, should stay there for a little while, but then come back to a normal state. Being happy 100% of the time, all the time, every day, is actually bad for you, okay? Just like when you're sad. If you are sad, eventually you won't be quite so sad anymore. And that's the emotional state you, that you drop to that you, you come to, and then once you're there for a little bit, you come back out of it to a normal state. So when I say, be happy, don't worry about things, try and find your normal state. If something's worrying you, realize that it shouldn't worry you. If something's super happy, hang on to it for as long as you can, but then drop back down to the normal state. Anyhow, I don't know. Maybe I haven't had enough coffee tonight. That's That could be my problem. Who knows? Love you guys very much. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos, but it's your choice. If you want to, go for it. Unless you're that 40% who's not subscribed right now and I need you to subscribe right now, it's still your choice. Love you guys very much. Have a great night. And we'll talk to you very soon. Steven, love ya. Outro. Want some new merch? Check out teespring.com. Outro.